Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a little postpartum update and just chat a little bit about how life has been. It's been very different, very beautiful, but lots of you know new challenges. I'm learning so many new things. Yeah, it's just been a huge life change since having our baby girl. I'm so happy. I'm, I feel like the the contrast of emotions is insane like i'm the happiest and most in love i've ever been like i've never felt so much love in my heart but at the same time it's been one of the most challenging and difficult times as well i'm learning so much i feel like as a new mom you're just kind of thrown into this new um life this new role and yet yeah, the contrast of emotions has been huge i'm very happy but i'm also like struggling <laughs> i also asked you guys over on my instagram to send in any questions that you had and we can talk about some of those as well and yeah just chat about how life has been lately so i'm currently five weeks postpartum almost six weeks um since i had my baby and she is the most beautiful little thing ever she's just my little sweetheart i think the biggest thing like the biggest challenge has been time like time management knowing like what's gonna happen when now she's a little bit more in a routine where we can kind of like estimate when she's going to be hungry when she's going to sleep you know when we could potentially go and do something whether that is with her like if we go you know on a walk in a stroller or if we have to go to an appointment for her or something like that um, and then also you know getting stuff done at home and then with that as well like the free time that you do have you have to be really specific on what it is that you do want to do like I cannot do everything that I used to do before in terms of even like self-care and having me time. I think me time is the first thing that just kind of goes out the window when you become a new mom. And I know I'll get back into it eventually as well, like my little routine, but now my main focus is really just to be her mom and to be there for her. And that is my priority. And of course, like basic self-care needs for myself, like taking a shower, making sure I'm eating, prioritizing sleep sleep and things like that those are like the basic things that are self-care for me but then everything else that you guys have seen me doing like my morning workouts and stretching and facials and nails and those kind of like extra things that's kind of been very much on the back burner for now <laughs> and also just want to enjoy this time with her as much as possible and again i know it's just such a short time like i'm very aware of the fact that this time is just gonna fly by even though sometimes it feels like it's very long or you know when the days are pretty tough you know she's got a lot of stomach pain one day and maybe i'm down and you know things are just a bit more difficult they kind of like pile up and up then that feels very long especially when you haven't slept and things like that but i am very aware that I, this time is just gonna fly by so i also just want to you know soak up the time and not feel like i have to worry about other things that i used to do before i think also for me in the beginning i didn't have so much support at home that was really challenging and i think that is so important like looking back you know at the first few weeks i think it's really important to get that help and you know whether that's from your partner or from family or from someone else because it's so hard to do it all by yourself and that was kind of what was happening in my case and i almost like i reached a point where i kind of had like a little breakdown and it was not good for my health for my mental and emotional um health as well so that's something definitely that i would say is so so important one of the craziest things though is when i look at her and i think like wow she grew in my body like my body did that and i look at her like fingers and her little nails and her eyes and her lashes and her little belly and like oh, her toes i just think it's so incredible that my body did that and i have just so much love and appreciation for my body obviously it looks pretty different now than before and it will take some time to heal and for everything to kind of go back to its place but i still feel really nice in my body and i it's nice to have that like mobility again you know where you can like bend over properly and like you know twist and turn i did really love being pregnant and i do sometimes miss my bum but it does feel really nice now to have that like freedom and movement and ability in my body and i will do a little like stomach update so you guys can see it's pretty much flat like the 
baby is gone the uterus is shrunk and like size wise i feel like it's pretty much gone back to how it was before i probably am a bit wider like in my hips and in like my overall body but i feel like the skin is definitely a lot looser i obviously don't have any of my ab definition or ab muscles like i had before not like i had crazy abs before but i can definitely feel like it's a little bit softer and more like squishy and you can still feel the extra skin i did recently go for my six week checkup and everything looks good so I am clear to start working out again if I wanted to but I really don't know when I have the time to do that like it's not something that I'm even really considering right now maybe in a few weeks I'll get back into it um, like starting with like stretching and maybe some gentle Pilates or something like that but right now as of this time I'm just going on walks occasionally and moving my body in that way and then yeah I'll get back into like my core work and abs and muscle definition and all of that like later on because right now I'm also just thinking about sleep like I don't have the energy to burn like the extra energy energy to burn on working out when I'm just trying to like survive during the day on very little sleep. Her sleep has gotten better though, much much better and Mo is helping more now. He does the morning feeding now so that gives me a little bit more time to sleep in in the morning and sleeping in is like 30 minutes extra sleep that I get. Um, but we'll talk about that a bit later. But yeah, one thing that definitely has changed a lot is my boobs. It's so crazy when you give birth and you know your milk starts to come in like a few days later. It was so crazy to see how they transform pretty much overnight. It was like literally from one day to the next. I went to bed, woke up, and my boobs were like rock hard and so huge. And then I noticed that they fluctuated in size quite a bit over um, the next few weeks. Now I'm six weeks postpartum, so I feel like they're a little bit more settled, but sometimes like depending because I am breastfeeding but I'm also pumping that's a whole other topic in itself that I want to get into at some point um, because that's been a huge huge learning experience for me and something that I never really thought so much about like I thought breastfeeding would come super natural and easy and that's just how it is for everyone and hopefully it is like that for most people but for me that just wasn't the case and I do want to get into that um, either later in this video or in another video but yeah the boobs definitely go through a lot of changes when you give birth and yeah like your milk comes in you guys probably know the bra that I wear it's from Naywai it's this one right here I also have it on right now but this has been so great especially postpartum because it is a one size fits all and it's especially great for this postpartum period when my body is fluctuating and my boobs especially are going through lots of different phases and stages of growth and getting smaller than getting bigger and I just love this bra you guys have heard me talking about this before I discovered them about a year ago now when I worked with them the first time and they're kindly working with me again on this video they have two new styles that they recently released that I want to share with you guys but this bra is so comfortable and again I love that it's a one-size-fits-all so it makes shopping for bras online really really easy so as long as you're within the listed size range then barely zero will adapt to fit you and also just the way that it's it's on the body and the fabric it's super comfortable it's really nice and smooth it's really seamless and it just fits like so smoothly under white t-shirts and things like this like you don't see it at all so this is their classic style the one that I've been wearing for over a year I have a few of these and then these are their new releases so they have two different styles and these are also a one size fits all so this is the first style and this has a clasp here in the back for those who prefer to have this kind of style and you can make it tighter or looser and also the straps here are adjustable so this is called their barely zero fixed cup clasp bra and then this is the second new design this has a wavy hemline here on the front which is very pretty and it just sits very smoothly on the skin and the straps here are also adjustable and what's really cool about both of these new designs is that the cup is fixed within the bra so it's not going to move around when you wash it you can also wear these as crop tops because the designs are so pretty and you could wear it over like a shirt or a blazer they come in lots of different colors as well they do also have a really nice selection of seamless underwear that is also one size fits all 
well. They also have some really beautiful loungewear as well in again really comfortable and luxurious fabrics that feel amazing on the skin. If you guys do want to check out any of their items, they've been very kind to offer you guys a little discount. You can use the code ANNIE20 at checkout and the link down below in the description box and that will get you 20% off your order. Again, I would highly, highly recommend checking out the bras. They are my favorite. They're so comfortable. They look really great on and the fact that it's a one size fits all just makes it so much more easy to shop for bras. See so yeah, if you guys want to check out any of their items, everything will be listed for you down below in the description box. Okay, so I want to dive into some of the questions that you guys sent me on my Instagram. Thank you to everyone who did submit a question. Okay, so one of the most frequently asked about topics that I can see just generally is what are some of the things that you wish you knew before having a baby and what are some of like the hardest parts of being a new mom? So I guess we'll just take that as a topic. Something that was definitely a bit of a shock for me was how much of you is required to nurture this little human you hear that a newborn just eats and poops and sleeps and that's like the cycle over and over and yes that's true but all of that takes so much energy from your side as a mom obviously like feeding is one thing um changing diapers and poops and peas like that's a piece of cake like probably not the best way to describe poops as a piece of cake but it's the easiest thing but then also just the fact of like putting her to sleep for her to stay asleep and then at like around the three week or four week mark a lot of babies can start developing colic which is when they get really bad stomach pain because their digestive system is still adapting to you know the outside world they're getting used to eating digesting foods and pooping out foods and that can come with a lot of discomfort and we definitely went through a lot of that in like the three four week mark now she's a little bit better but i have heard that at six to eight weeks it can kind of peak and get like the, the worst which i'm kind of scared about because i feel like we're in a little bit of a better groove now so there's that you know there's taking care of the baby but at the same time you are also very much healing postpartum you know you have a pretty significant period for the first few weeks you are very much sore down there and then the fact of just sitting down is so uncomfortable because you're like sitting on your wounds and on like a bruised vagine with stitches and stuff and then you also have a period on top of that and that usually comes with like having a really thick pad which can sometimes be uncomfortable just by itself on top of that you're also dealing with sleep deprivation and not having time to you know properly take care of yourself and maybe you know shower and go outside and get fresh air or even just like talk to your family because sometimes you can be so busy and it's just like things are so happening so fast and then with that as well you know finding the time to eat and meal prep and make sure that you're staying hydrated enough so that you can also produce really good milk for your baby and again if you don't have that support and you feel like you're doing pretty much everything by yourself that can be extremely tiring and draining I totally get where baby blues comes from and why a lot of women suffer with postpartum depression and not saying that, that has been my case but I've definitely had moments where it's been very very challenging but like I said in the beginning it's also the most beautiful time like you're looking at your little baby I'm just in awe of her and I love her so so much and she's just the sweetest little thing my heart literally explodes of love and just feels so warm and like uh, it's just the best feeling but at the same time it's extremely challenging at times as well but again that might not be everyone's experience that's just how it has been for me and like I think what I expected it to be or what I thought it was compared to what it really is it was definitely a lot and something that I don't think I really thought about much before giving birth and maybe that's a good thing too because you don't want to like you know freak yourself out already being pregnant and going through all of that and knowing that you're gonna give birth like that's enough to think about and then yeah like everything that comes after that is equally a lot but women are just so freaking incredible like now when I see other moms on the street and I see them with like little babies or even with you know more grown-up kids I just think like wow she went through all of that as well and that's incredible yeah I just have so much love and respect for mothers it's absolutely amazing what they do 
too. Another big topic and theme that I see a lot is the topic of breastfeeding and feeding in general. Yeah, like I mentioned, this is a topic that I definitely want to talk more about. I guess I'll just talk about it a little bit now here as well. So I always thought breastfeeding would be something that would just come like very naturally because for me, it's, it's such a natural part of like having a baby. And I think in an ideal situation where you're not overly stressed out and you're not like completely super tired and you feel like somewhat taken care of, I think breastfeeding can come more natural to a situation like that. But for me, I am currently breastfeeding and I'm pumping as well. And we are also supplementing with formula. She was born just under three kilos. I think she was 2.8 or 2.9. So I would say a little bit more on the smaller side. I think the average is around three kilos. So just a little bit under three kilos. And from the get-go, she had a really good latch. She was eating really well and she was eating a lot. I feel like more than the average baby because when they weighed her um, a few days later and then also one week later, she actually never lost her birth weight or she never went under her birth weight, which is something that is very common with most babies. I think like 99% of babies will go under their birth weight and they gradually gain the weight after like a week or so where they surpass their birth weight and then they actually start gaining weight. So when the doctors were doing her checkup, they noticed that she never actually lost any weight because she was eating so much and my boobs were definitely feeling it. She was on me for so many hours breastfeeding and I loved it. Obviously it was a little bit like sore and painful on my nipples, but I loved the experience of breastfeeding. It's such a nice thing to do for your baby and obviously you're giving them such good nourishment, but also just the connection and the love and the bond that you start to build to breastfeeding. I think it's just beautiful. So she was eating really well from my side, but then after a few weeks, I did feel like she wasn't getting enough. Like she would be a little bit fussy and a little bit like not satisfied after, you know, some time feeding. And then the midwife suggested that we supplement with a little bit of formula because maybe my body was just going through so many things and changes and stress. So that's what we had to do. And then to further help my breast milk production, I started pumping. And also with pumping is really great because you can then have someone else help and feed your baby through a bottle so you can put your breast milk in a bottle and then someone else can feed them and then also with pumping you can stimulate your body to create more breast milk because a pump will you know pump both your boobs for about 20 minutes but with breast milk it's all about supply and demand so the more you ask your body to produce milk the more milk it will produce so yeah all of that also takes a lot of time to pump and to clean all the parts and the bottles and everything like that my goal is to be able to do it 100 percent again that is what i want and that is what i'm trying to get to but in my case it hasn't been so easy and so straightforward and it's been such a learning experience for me when i think about it so much it, it can get me quite emotional because it's not something that i ever thought would be you know like an issue or a problem but yeah you're thrown into this like new role and there can be lots of challenges and for me that has been one of them like thankfully i had a pretty you know easy and straightforward pregnancy and birth was really great but yeah this has been the thing now that has been really challenging for me but i am doing everything that i can to actually help my body to you know optimize this whole uh, situation so that i can fully breastfeed her again because that is what i really want okay something else that you guys ask a lot about is hair like if I've had any um, postpartum hair loss and yes I have definitely noticed that a lot more hair has been falling out but I think it does peak later on not necessarily now but I feel like in a few months women go through so much you know like birth is already a lot like being pregnant is a lot and then you know recovering and then also like dealing with postpartum hair loss I mean like, it's just crazy the amount of things that women go through to bring these beautiful little humans into life but yeah I'm just trying to do my best in terms of taking care of myself, taking care of my hair, using good products, massaging my scalp, using good serums. But it's also something that I'm not so super concerned about. Like my priority right now is to take care of myself like the best that I can and to take care of my baby. Okay, I think we will wrap up this video on this question and that is best advice for newborn life. I think definitely being comfortable with the uncomfortable. So that is something that has been a huge thing for me is like being so out of my comfort zone with pretty much everything <laughs> from our home to time management to feeling different in your body
body um, to sleep I think you just have to go into motherhood with such a big open heart and just embrace everything that is new and everything that is to come because the love that you have for your child and when you see your little baby like it all makes every single thing worth it and that's something that I would do 1,000 times over and over and over again she makes it all worth it but you definitely are thrown into this very new world and just to try to embrace every single thing even if it is challenging and difficult and you're completely out of your comfort zone I'm personally just trying to embrace every single little thing and not put so much pressure on myself you know I am trying to keep up with like basic self-care and trying to have like some kind of order in the apartment and also try to work a little bit because that generally does make me so happy you know continuing with my YouTube videos and doing some small things for myself but yeah just really embracing this new time with my baby and taking so many pictures and videos and just really trying to document this time even though it can be very challenging and I think that's like the most important thing that you can do is just be so in love with this moment and also know this is what I've heard from a lot of other moms and friends that have had kids and babies is that it does get easier it does get better and um, when they start sleeping through the night more that's when people say that you know it can be a bit better because you can start sleeping more yeah the last few nights she's actually been sleeping like five to six hour stretches which has been incredible like the biggest gift ever that of course means that I can sleep more and I noticed that the more that I sleep the better that I feel the better of a mother I can actually be to her so that has been very exciting and you know something new and fun <laughs> in the last few weeks but I will make sure to update you guys more on all of this stuff in my future videos I am planning on filming a vlog next where I'll go more into some of the baby updates and different things that we're doing and things that have been really working for us as well if you guys also have new babies or if you're just curious about you know motherhood and this new chapter in life so I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching I hope that you're all having a beautiful day and I will see you in my next one Bye guys.